telling me that we have things to hide. Tell me Chair, what it is you are hiding. Kindly don't order. lecture me. Order, order, order. You are not in order to lecture me. Order. I have the right to ask you questions. Order. If you could just answer the question, then we can proceed. Chairman, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. But some questions are not for order? yes or no. Is that a point of order? OK, proceed. I'm saying just some, answer some, the, some just questions, answer Madam question. Chair, with the greatest respect, are not just a yes or no answer. She Chair. Say um, Chair, I, um, uh, I, I want to go back to this issue of, uh, so that uh, Chair can clarify. Um, yeah, the, the issue of, of suspension. You know, me, I came here uh, this morning because there is a you and cry that uh, uh, people who made supplies uh, to KEMSA were being paid higher prices than what is in the market. And I wanted to benefit from you, Chair, uh, this morning in that respect. So, Regarding the suspended CEO, as your board sat down to consider that you and cry from the Kenyan public that uh, the person who was giving out contracts, gave out contracts to suppliers on prices that, that were higher than what is in the market, and in the process, cashed in on this uh, unfortunate uh, pandemic to convert themselves into overnight billionaires. Has the board done any preliminary investigations? Related to that is the information that is out in the public that whereas these suppliers have become overnight millionaires, KEMSA, is not in a very sound financial position. You as the board chair, what's your take on these very serious allegations that have been raised against your management? Chairman, I, I agree Is that with an additional, uh, additional question? Uh, Senator Omogeni. Chair, we, why we came here is because of the overnight billionaires, the COVID billionaires. Can we have questions and issues dealing with that? When I chair, we are talking the whole day we took because of one warehouse, which cost one billion, while billions were stolen or, or billions were misappropriated within some few months, Mr. Speaker, I must say chairman. So can, can these issues, can we go to those? We have a fired email that they keep referring to out of context in which I gave a direction of, the, of myself as chairman of the board and for which I take full responsibility. I did it because I knew the consequences, but I added it by saying that should, you, should there be any lawful order or other uh, uh, court order or other order, then do not sign the contract. That's what I said. And that is what any reasonable person would do. Now you want to show as if I have a, a personal interest well, in this uh, matter. Just to know, chairman, 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 let's move Maybe on. The way proceed, proceed with the question. Now, question. the next Chair. question by Senator Kwamboka. She's talking about an interdiction of the companies, of the, of the, of the legal director. And she's asking us why we did not wait for a ESEC directive. I hope Senator Kwamboka understands the difference between interdiction and suspension. And I hope she understands the role of a board. And I hope she also understands that we, our manual at KEMSA. And if we are not going to be allowed to work as a board at KEMSA to make decisions for the good of KEMSA, if somebody wants to micromanage us, then I want to assure you nothing will happen at, how, uh, nothing how will happen at KEMSA. How did you arrive at that decision? That's what she's asking you. She's not trying yes. to micromanage you. But she is asking me why we have not, we did not wait for a letter I'm, from the ESCC. I'm just ESCC. concerned because of what is happening right now in this country. Billions have been